All right. Um, now we're going to turn to item 10.2.1, moving that up. Um, consideration to contribute to the Aya Nakano Reward Fund. <coughs> um, and I believe we have a someone here to Do, talk Is the detective here? Yeah. 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 Yes. Thank you for coming. Oh, you're I appreciate it. I'm Detective Molina. I'm from the Oakland Police Department. I have the unfortunate case of Aya Nakano. Uh, he was 22 years old on June 12th of this year. He was playing basketball up at UC Berkeley, and he's an Emeryville, Emeryville resident, so he was driving home and uh, believe he was rear-ended from behind in a slight fender bender, and he pulled over just to do the right thing, and he was shot in Oakland and killed. So the investigation is kind of stalled out, and um, I'm asking the governor for some reward money. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys for some reward money, and that only comes forward uh, upon conviction. So I need some help on this. His mother has funded the billboard um, campaign. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she plans on doing it again. And a lot of times that will just spark that tip that will come in and help us get to the bottom of the case. Uh, just so you know about him, I, I learned about him. He's a recent graduate um, from college. I didn't find this, none of this is his fault. He didn't do anything wrong. As a matter of fact, he did the right thing. Could have been any one of us, just pulled over. Do you have any questions about his case or anything? No, I just have something in comment I'd like to make. Yeah. You know, I, I, this is important, I feel, for me and for this community because we, we really need to help Oakland on this one. I meant with two blocks away, it would have been, this would have happened in Emeryville. And this person that perpetrated this crime is still out there on the streets. And there's, there's really a, a belief that you can't snitch. Well, everybody has their price. And so the, the family believes that around $100,000 is what it takes, a commitment to have somebody snitch on this murderer. And so this commitment is nothing that's going to come out of this budget until the person is found and convicted. <coughs> but we all have to remember, we drive through Oakland all the time. They don't have the resources that we're lucky enough to have. So if Emeryville's going to stay safe, we have to help Oakland with their, their problems. And I, I think this small token uh, commitment of $10,000 if convicted is something that we really should do to help our, really, our, our brothers in Oakland. So I would like to have the support of the council for this. And, and this would be a small way to build up those dollars so that we can get this man off the street. So. Jennifer? I, I do have a question for you, and thank you for coming to speak with us this evening. Um, I, I'm just not familiar with how effective these rewards are, and if you've seen um, other cases move along or get solved uh, with this type of monetary commitment. Absolutely. It, it could be anything. It could be, there's more than one person that knows about this. So I'm hoping that the right amount of money will trigger the right information. So absolutely, will it, will, could it work? Yes, has it worked in the past? Yes. Mm -hmm. Other questions? So I guess I'm gonna put forward the motion for the city of Emeryville to put up a $10,000 commitment, commitment on the conviction of the person of, 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 this, of this killer, uh, of, of this young man. So and that's my motion. I'm gonna second that. That's a dollar per person who lives in Emeryville. Um, it's a lot of money in terms of our taxpayers, but on the other hand, I, I share your, your concern. I appreciate that immensely. <coughs> All those in favor? Should we take a roll call vote? Why don't you go roll call? Let's do a roll call vote, Karen. Okay. Councilmember <coughs> Atkin? Aye. After, okay, Councilmember, wait a minute. Councilmember Brinkman? Yeah, right, I'm Aye. <laughs> uh, Councilmember West? Aye. Vice Mayor Atkin and Miss Davis. Davis. Wait, Nora, wait, wait, what about, wait, what about Nora? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> let me try this. No, I didn't write this down. That was my fault. Okay, so let me try this again. Okay, <laughs> Councilmember Davis. No, sorry, Councilmember Brinkman. Aye. Councilmember Davis. Aye. Councilmember West. Aye. Vice Mayor Atkin. Aye. And Mayor Asher. Aye. I want to thank the council <coughs> immensely for this one. It means a lot to me. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you for coming this evening. Thanks for your pledge. Thank you.
Okay. Now um, we've had a request to move up. I, I think uh, that we have a speaker oh, on this one. Yes. Maria. Please come forward. Um, I just. Could you pull the microphone down a little so we can hear you? Yes, thank so you. I'm Aya Nakano's mother, as you very well know. I, um, it, I just wanted to say a few words and it's very easy to fall into despair when you lose your greatest love, your greatest blessing. But we find comfort in the kindness and compassion of people like yourselves. Solace in the fact that communities will band together to give Aya the justice that he deserves. It is our sincerest hope through Emeryville's generosity, a message will be sent about gun violence, um, that violence is no longer confined to a small area of a neighboring city, this much we know, but that beyond the, the reward money is a message that communities like Emeryville will not acquiesce to senseless violence and allow it to become part of the city's unique social landscape. That simply would not do. So I thank you council members and Emeryville citizens for this very generous gift. Thank you for your time and thank you for letting me speak and our sincerest gratitude to you from our entire family. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to thank you for sharing um, all the information about your son that you that you um, invited to us, yeah. gave to us as well. Yeah. <coughs> Precious. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, now we'll turn to Administrative Item 8.1. This is 